Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to make this exact finished image in Blender. It's going to be quick and it's going to be easy, so let's get started. Okay, so you want to start off by switching to Sox Render for better shading. Then you want to click X to delete the default cube and then right click and X to delete the lamp. And then you want to go into Taurus. We're going to click S to scale. Go into the settings. And we're going to go into the modifiers and add a modifier and it's going to be a subdivision surface modifier and then we want to increase the view value and render value to a higher value to make it smoother and then we want to go into particle settings click new and then we want to change from animator to hair and as you see we now have some hair but we have to change some of the values in the settings and first of all, we have to decrease the length of the hair. So 0.25. And make it advanced. And make the um, emit frame to volume. Which is going to change the way the hair looks. You don't really need to understand all of these settings. You can just copy my values if you want to. But I'm going to go down to physics. But what I recommend you to do is to try out all the different settings down in the uh, emitter settings because you can make a lot of different types of hair. So after you have copied all my settings and made the render, I think you should try the different values. Now you can uh, increase or decrease the uh, brownian, brownian to make the hair kind of more wild and go in different directions. I like to increase that value a little bit. And then you can scroll down a little bit more and make sure to go down to display first of all and increase the color steps to 7 which is the highest value and go down to children make it interpolated and increase the render value to about 200 or 250 and display is only going to show how many hairs that you can see in the viewport and seeds is going to change the way the hair looks just change it up a little bit but still the same values basically and you can also increase the clump value which is going to make the hair go towards each other and kind of clump up together you can choose if you want to have it clumped up or spread out but I'm going to have it a little bit in the middle now make sure to make the hair curly so click curl because I think that looks really really cool especially if you have like kind of cartoon animals and again you can change the clump value but I don't really think this clump value is going to change much I'm just going to Go back and you can also change the amplitude there are a lot of different values I don't really know what does to the hair but you can just try it out okay and I'm going to change the primitive to curved and I'm going to increase the curved subdivisions so that when you see the render it's going to be a lot more smoother here instead of have kind of like a low poly hair and then you can also change the thickness of the hair like the root and the scaling and the tip so how fat the hair is going to be I'm just gonna make the thickness value to about 0.2 again after you have many render you can just try the different values and I think you can make a lot of different cool hair for your render and as well as make hair on other objects okay so I think it looks cool now obviously you just see 1 20th of all the hairs because the children value for the viewport and for the render is very different but I think you should increase the number of uh, hairs later on if you want to of course but I think I'm going to go into the camera so click numpad 0 to go into the camera and then click RY to rotate the torus on the y-axis left click to confirm and then you want to click R set to rotate the torus on the z-axis 
and then click S to scale and make it smaller. And then G to grab. Left click to confirm. Like this. Okay, so now I think it's time to add some lighting to the scene. And I'm going to add a plane first. So we're going to start off by clicking G to grab. And then R to rotate. And then S to scale. And we're going to add a material. It's going to be animator. So emission. And then increase the strength to 7. Number 7 for the top view. Shift D to uh, duplicate. Then click R set to rotate the plane on the set axis. And then click S to scale it down. It's supposed to be smaller. Shift D again. This is going to be the backlight. It's going to be the smallest. R set to rotate it. And then S to scale it down. Okay, so now we have the basic lighting. And now I'm going to go into the rendered mode and see how it looks when it's rendered. So go into rendered mode. And it's going to calculate. Okay, so this is how it looks. It's still white, so we need to add a material. So new material. And then just change the color. We're just going to have one simple color for this tutorial. But obviously you can change it up and make more advanced materials later. Okay, I'm going to make it kind of like a bluish color. And then I'm going to go back to solid mode. And I'm going to add a floor and walls for this render. Because that usually makes it look a lot better. So go to the bottom. And add a plane. Click G set to grab it on the set axis. And then click S to scale it up. We're going to make it real big. Because this is going to be like the floor and the walls around the whole scene. And go into... Maybe I should scale it down a little bit. And then go into edit mode. And then click E to extrude. And left click to confirm. And then click X to uh, delete the top face. Like this. And then go back to object mode. Right now I think I'm happy with the result so far. So I'm just going to change a few things before we make the final render. And I'm going to make the number of hairs twice as many. Just to make it look better. It's going to have a lot more hair than you can see right now, by the way. But I just like to make as many hairs as I want. So you can obviously increase it even more if you want to. Click Shift F to go into the fly cam. Move around with W, A, S and D. Just like in a video game, go into the camera, increase the render quality to 100%, and go into sampling and make it as high as you want. But I want to make it, let's say, about 250 to make it really good looking. Now, before I render, I really want to change up the colors a little bit just to see how the colors look. So go into rendered mode. And what I want to change is the color of the floor and the walls because that currently doesn't have any materials at all. And maybe just try to change up the colors on the um, hair itself. Okay, start off by the um, floor and walls and I'm going to make it dark because I like kind of the mix with blue and uh, the dark color. And I'm also going to change the color a little bit on the torus. That's completely up to you. And obviously you can make whatever color you want. I kind of want to make it... Yeah, I think it looks the best with blue actually. So I'm going to stay with blue. And I think this color looks good. We're going to see when it's rendered. You have already seen it in the beginning of the video. What it's going to look like. So go into solid mode and to the camera again and then click render this is the final result you can download the finished file on my website thanks for watching and subscribe